Hey there, it's Kevin. Just uh, going to have a quick look at and a quick discussion off the cuff about the Dark Valley. And <clears throat> a look at the initial beginnings of getting organized to play. And one of the first things that I noted when I'm pulling things apart here, uh, and this is all leading to a point that would be a positive addition to the game, which I may actually do myself, is that uh, we have a significant number of counters here that are all, you know, one fours or two fours, right? So, you know, all these are one fours and they all go in Minsk. And all these guys here go in Piskov. And these all go in Gomel. And then there are reserve counters over here. And these are all one fours. Uh, these guys, where do they go? They go in specific hexes. Little black dots uh, mean that they can't be replaced, uh, just as an FYI. Right, so it, uh, when I punch all the counters, uh, what I'm going to need to do is uh, look on the front to see if it has a code on the front of it, like this. A little W or a B. You see that there? Come on, baby. Oh, you really don't want to focus today. Well, that's entertaining, isn't it? I think I zoomed in too far. Okay. Regardless, that's a B. So, there are counters that have Bs for Baltic and Odessa and Western District and all the rest of it and Kiev. And uh, so I've got to look in the front and see if it's a uh, unit that goes in one of the military districts or if it doesn't have a letter, then I know that it's going to have something on the back of it, uh, most likely, uh, and it will uh, have uh, a place or a location where it will go. Now, if I am the type of person, and I'm going to apologize to all the history buffs here, if I am the type of person that cares about where this specific uh, division goes, then yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'd like to know that, right? The one, the 157th versus the 175th, bad example, I don't know how you snuck in there, you're over there. Uh, but these guys are all one fours, and they're all the same, and I don't really care where the 203rd goes or where the 165th goes. So and, and what I'd like to do, I think what I'll do, is create a little uh, spreadsheet and just tally up, okay, we need eight uh, one fours in Cherkesky area. We need two in that town that I can never pronounce correctly, so I'm not going to do it. And uh, four in Minsk, and we need eight in Peskov, and things like that. And then get a list, and then just put the units in there. And uh, then, then know that we have X number of reserve units, and they go somewhere else as well. So many units in Moscow. And that way, setup becomes very rapid. These guys with actual hex numbers all are uh, armored units and it's fair enough they need to go in a specific place but once again look there are there three, four, you know there's finally four so it's no big deal. So that means there would only be about ten units there and uh, these two fours are specific they go in specific locations so now, now I've got to find twenty specific units versus I can just put all of these in a bag I can put them all where they need to be, and boom, we're done. And then I can set set up uh, the district, military districts, in another bag or, or separate bags. And I think that will save me. Let's see. I've been at this now. Yep, I've been at this now for half an hour, separating them all and organizing them all. And when you you're going to play and mess them all up, and they're going to die and go off the board and come on the board as replacements, probably. So I really think that uh, having a little spreadsheet here would be very helpful. So I'll try and do that. I'll post it up so you guys can use it. Um, map looks good. Counters look good. The counters are in pretty good shape. Uh, I found them to be a little slick, so I uh, coated them in uh, that crayon stuff, uh, uh, Krylon stuff, whatever it is, and that gives them just a little bit of texture, a little stops them from being so slippery. I'm kind of cranking through the rules as we go here, and I'm probably just going to get started with it. And uh, I've down printed off some of the uh, special reminders sheets and things like that. And at some point, we'll uh, in the next 
two, three weeks, we'll get started on this. I'm uh, not in a huge hurry to, to get on this, but I do want to uh, play it sooner or later because it fits into the chronolo chronological walk through uh, World War II. This will be the third and possibly the last Eastern Front title I'll play in the chronology. I may, now that I've finished reading the rules and found the rules again, uh, for Blitzkrieg 1941 from the Command Magazine number one, I may play that as well. This has some aspects, uh, a few little aspects from it, that feel like uh, Blitzkrieg 1941. Uh, this is kind of like an interesting melange of different systems. There's some really cool ideas in this game and I'm very keen to explore them. So I look forward to talking to you a little bit later on.